In this tutorial, I will show you how to replace the fuel nozzle that is inside these mosquito magnets. This tutorial will work for the independence model, which I have here, uh, Liberty Plus models, and the executive models will all be very similar. Some early Mosquito Magnet Plus, uh, Liberty Plus models only had two screws along the side, whereas these later models uh, of the Liberty Plus and the Independence and Executive all have three screws here and two screws here, which I'll show you when we get to that point in the video. The reason you'll need to replace the nozzle is because over time, your nozzle can look like this. I don't know if you can see that. It's black on that end, and the tip is uh, blackened. That tip is really black, and the screen on this end gets black as well. This is what a new one looks like. The screen is clean, and the tip is clean, obviously. Brand new. So that's the one we're going to be installing. The simple tools you need to perform this job is a drill or screwdriver, uh, little pliers, and a three-quarter and five-eighths inch wrench. So it's nice to have a padded surface to work on because obviously you don't want to scratch the nice plastic top on your mosquito mang. So here's how we go. First thing you want to do is remove the four screws that hold the stand on. Just like that. So put the screws and the cover aside for later. Now, next thing you want to do is take these screws out. One, two, three, four, five. Six and two more over here down in these holes. If I had a longer bit on my drill, then I could obviously do all these with the drill, but a little bit on the drill is too short, so we can't do that. And usually these don't come all the way out, so you have to be careful when we take it off, when we tip it over to catch those screws. The next thing is over here is the Schrader nozzle to, for the quick clear. So you take off the Schrader cap, and there's a little 3 8 nut here. This is what the pliers are for. If you can't get it, you need the pliers to screw that on, but it should be finger tight. Pull that off the finger tight. And this little plastic piece here also comes off. Now we're ready to remove this bottom cover. A couple things you need to know when we remove this bottom cover, this black plenum is going to come off, and you'll have to worm this through here, this hole here. So this comes off. Take out the plume tube. Set that aside. This is a good time to take these screws out that we didn't get before. There's our two screws. Put those with the other ones. Then we have to take this hose out. And as I said, it's fit through a small hole. There, it's free and clear. You can set that aside. Often when you take this off, it's very dirty in here. So uh, there's usually ants and um, spiders and all kinds of stuff. Often I've seen mice build nests in here. Um, all kinds of different creatures. So you want to blow that out, clean it out. You know, make it all look real nice for, for more uh, continued clean use. So, the fuel nozzle is now right in here. There's one screw that you need to see that's right here. If you can see that, 
that you need to loosen a little bit. See if I can bring the camera a little closer. See that? So a little screw here. You can take it all the way out. It's a little hard to get it back in. There's your screw. That's a, it's a different, so keep track of that. Then you can carefully take this valve assembly out. And there's our old nozzle. So now you take the three quarter inch wrench, put it on the big flats there, and then take the five eighths wrench and put it on here and turn it the right direction and it just spins apart. Like so. And as you can see from this nozzle, it's very black. The tip has a little bit of black on it. So the screen's dark. Um, it'll probably go for about another year, but then it'll clog and block. This is the most common problem with these mosquito magnets is this nozzle clogs up and you don't get any fuel flow in the unit. So now we will take our new nozzle and screw it in. And tighten it down. Don't over torque it. Now, sometimes I put a little lubricant on this o ring right here uh, to make it slide in a little better. I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to put it right back in. And because that makes a nice seal in there. And don't put this, well, put the screw in now, but don't tighten it all the way down. You have to be very careful with this screw that you don't tighten it too much or you can split the combustion chamber. So just put it in there a little bit. If it is tight, just back it off. Now, we're ready to go back together. We replaced the fuel nozzle. Look over everything, it looks pretty clean. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, assemble it and put it back together. So, here it goes. Yeah, this unit is pretty clean. It's only about a year old. So, here it goes. The hose through here. And this little thing where you can cut this off. that on there nice you shouldn't have to press it or force it or anything there's a groove down in here that the plastic fits around the combustion chamber make sure that lines up properly and that's secure now put this cap on the back put this 3 8 a little nut on actually I think it's 7 16 Once that's all lined up, then you can go ahead and just snug down this screw. Basically, it's just to keep the valve from sliding back. That's all it's there for. You don't want to torque it too much, just a little snug is good. Now, we're going to install these eight screws once again. One, three on each side, and two on the end that are right here.
Once again, my bit's not quite long enough to tighten these down. Sometimes you see some corrosion in the aluminum down here. Usually I take some scotch bright and just wipe that out. Or a little steel wool or steel brush and just clean that all out. Make sure it's all nice. Here's the same. I didn't put the plume in, so that was a good time. The plume just goes in here and snaps in place. So now that's secure. And now it's time to put the cover on. With the four screws. You also don't want to torque these screws down too much. I have seen the brass nut plates in the plastic below crack out uh, if you torque those down too much. Similar with these screws on the side, they're just screwing into plastic. They're just basic screws, so don't screw them in too tight. There you go. Simple, pretty simple fix with common tools. Get in there, replace your fuel nozzle, and Back, be back in service. Um, it's a very common problem, as you can see from the fuel nozzles that I've taken out uh, that can't get very dirty. It's easy to do. And so please like my video. And um, I have the fuel nozzles for sale. Please see the description below the video for where you can purchase the fuel nozzles. I've mosquito magnet company does not sell the individual parts themselves and they do not allow the dealers to sell them either. So I had to do a lot of my own research and um, sourcing of these fuel nozzles. So I appreciate your support and uh, purchasing them from me. So uh, thank you for watching.